What's up guys, it's Dave Bosch with the RC Air Bosch YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick video on how to perform the G2 update on your older G1 smart chargers. Specifically, we're going to be discussing the smart chargers that require the use of the USB to serial adapter that Spectrum sells. All of the chargers that require that basically follow the same instructions that we're going to be going over uh, during the course of the video. And those include the Smart S150 charger, the S1200, the S1500, and the S2100 chargers. All of the other smart chargers either use a micro USB or USB-C cable, and you shouldn't run into the issues. It still follows the same procedure. You just plug the USB cable straight into the charger rather than using the serial adapter. All right, to continue with the update, you're gonna need a Windows PC, either laptop or desktop, doesn't really matter. You just need a free USB port. Uh, you're also gonna need the Spectrum SPMXCA100 USB to serial adapter. Uh, you can either find that in the description below, or you can head over to rcairmarshall.com, click that Horizon uh, link that's gonna be on the main page of my website, and that'll take you over to horizonhobby.com and you can search for the SPMX CA100 uh, there at horizon.com. Those links are affiliate links and they help out the channel when you use them. So we appreciate you guys' support. And the last thing that you'll need is the smart charger that you're gonna be uh, updating. Uh, like I said, this procedure will work for all of the smart chargers. So that includes the S120, uh, but the S120 uses a USB-C cable uh, the S150, which uses the USB to serial adapter. The S1100, which uses a micro USB cable. The S1200, S1500, and S2100, and all of those use the USB to serial adapter as well. So once you have everything that you need, we can head over to the computer and get started with the update process. So before we do, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss any more tips like this one. Now let's head over to the PC. Today we're gonna to be doing the update on the S2100 smart charger, and these instructions will work on any of the G1 chargers that need the SPMX CA100. This is a USB to serial adapter that plugs into any USB port on your computer. The chargers that need this are the S150, the S1200, the S1500, and the S2100 that we're gonna be doing today. All right, to get started, we're gonna open up a web browser and head over to horizonhobby.com. From there, we're gonna search for the S2100, or you can search for whatever charger you're updating. So we found the S2100, we're gonna to go to the product page, and we'll scroll down a little bit, and we'll go to manuals and support, and then we'll open up this drop-down menu uh, from here, we're going to pick the Smart Charger G2 Update Instructions and Change Log, and that's going to open up a PDF document for us. Inside that PDF document, there's two uh, downloads that I want you to pay attention to. The first one is right here. Uh, it has, if the included driver package fails to install, uh, download this alternative version. Uh, and I've seen uh, on a couple of different machines where the first time you plug in the USB, to serial adapter, it does not recognize it. And this uh, download right here will fix that problem. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna look at is for the S2100, uh, we can go ahead and download that. Uh, and that's gonna update our charger to V1.1.0.7. Uh, that's gonna be the firmware revision we're looking for after the update. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and download the um, firmware file or the update file. We're gonna click show in folder. And it's gonna bring up our download section. And what we're gonna do is just double click that zip file. We could do extract, but it'll, it, it will extract it right here. Uh, so rather than doing that, I'm just gonna double click that zip file and take this folder. I'm gonna make another folder here on the desktop and we're gonna call it S2100 update. We're gonna open up that folder as well and just have two of these uh, browser windows open. We can just take that folder, and again, this was inside the zip, right? So that S2100 ACV 1.1.0.7, we're gonna click on that and take that folder and drag it right over into the S2100 update folder that we've got on our desktop. 
Now, in preparation for what seems like the inevitable, we're going to go ahead and open up that, uh, that web browser again and go up here and go ahead and download that XCA100 driver. We'll go to Show in Folder, open that up, and just drag that XCA100 driver in there as well. And now we've got everything we need. So if something does go wrong and the driver doesn't apply properly, we've already got it. The first thing that we're going to want to do here is open up the folder that has the S2100 v1.1.0.7. And we want to right click on this SCU application and click on run as administrator. Uh, if you get this window pop up, it has Windows protected your PC, just click more info and run anyway. And here we can see that we've got the release notes S2100 v1.1.0.7. Uh, and down at the bottom it says connect the device failed. So what we want to do at this point is go ahead and plug in our USB uh, to serial adapter. And I'm just plugging that into the side of the laptop right here. And then on the side of the charger, you'll see what looks like a small headphone jack right there. And that's where we want to plug in our update cable. So we'll go ahead and plug in our update cable into that jack. And what we're going to see on the desktop now that we have that plugged in is that here on the bottom of the smart updater, we've still got connect device failed or connect the device failed. Right. So what we're going to do since, uh, you know, since it's not working the way that we expect it to is we're going to check something called the device manager in windows. We're going to go down here to the windows start logo. We're going to right click on that and go up here to device manager. When the device manager opens, you'll get a window that looks similar to the one that we have here on the screen. So what we're going to see is USB 2.0 serial under other devices. Uh, and you've got that little caution sign there, which means that the driver didn't install properly. So Windows doesn't know what this thing is. Now, if we go back to our S2100 update folder where we move those original downloaded files, you've got this XCA100 driver. We're going to go ahead and run that as an administrator as well. And this is the driver setup window that will open after you open the file. We're going to go ahead and click install. Now, what I want you to pay attention to is as this is installing, watch how this changes over here in the device manager. So we'll click install. And now it says driver install success. Now you'll see over here in device manager, some things have changed. Other devices is no longer lit up. And now under ports, common LPT, we've got USB to serial. CH340 on COM3. That is what we want to see as far as the driver goes. So you know if it says USB 2.0 to serial, uh, that is not the right driver. Uh, that's not the right device type. If you see USB to serial CH340 COM3, that's what you want to see. So let's go back into our S2100 v1.1.0.7 folder. We're going to open up the SCU application again. And now you'll see app version 1.0.0.18. We'll go ahead and highlight update in blue. Left click the update button and that will start the update. And you'll see the Spectrum logo come up on the charger. You'll also be able to see the update progress bar moving. All right, so you'll see here on the Smart Updater, it says Update Successful App Version 1.1.0.7. And you'll see now on the charger, we have the G2 interface. And now we can press the center button, hold it down. That'll take us into the menu system, and we just want to verify that we're sitting at the right version. We can go into System Settings to System Info, and that will show us that we're now sitting on OS Revision 1.1.0.7, which is exactly what we expect to see after the update. All right, so now that we've completed the update, uh, we're going to go ahead and unplug the USB uh, to serial adapter from the charger. And we're going to go ahead and cycle the power to the charger. So we want to turn it off and then turn it back on. Now on these, that just means removing the power cable, let the power cycle, and then we'll turn it back on.
Obviously we get a whole new interface on here that is similar to the G2 chargers and specifically on the S2100 and now on the S2200 as well you've got these channel buttons uh, which will cycle back and forth between channel 1 and channel 2. Now the other thing that this did is it made it compatible with the uh, G2 batteries. So we've got a G2 battery here. This is a 2200 milliamp hour 3S50C pack. I've got this set to charge at a charge rate of 3.3 amps. Uh, so we should be able to just plug this right in and it will start charging. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to channel 1, plug our battery into channel 1, and it should fire right up. All right, so you can see it says initiating smart charging. All right, so the charge cycle has started. You can see it uh, shooting right on up there to 3.3 amps where it has stopped. So we are successfully charging one of the G2 smart packs with our Spectrum S2100 first gen smart charger uh, after completing the G2 firmware update. Now one of the things that's nice about this charger is it does, uh, after the update, give us our charge time remaining. So we got about 26 minutes to go to charge this pack. Uh, but we're not going to sit here and watch the whole thing. Uh, you've got some nice features. Uh, you know, with the battery meter, you get a lot more useful information. And it just makes the whole process a lot easier. Especially with these G2 packs. You just plug them in, the charge cycle starts, and you're on your way. Alright guys, so that's all there is to updating your Gen 1 smart charger to the G2 firmware. Uh, make sure that you follow that step at the end where you restart your charger at the end. If you don't, uh, when you plug a G2 battery in there, it may not do the auto uh, start of the charge cycle. So if you, uh, you know, just cycle power to the charger, plug your G2 battery in, it should work fine. And for all the different items that are featured in the video today, whether that's the S2100, the USB to serial adapter, all the links are going to be down in the description, and those are affiliate links from Horizon Hobby. They pay a small commission to me at no additional charge to you, and we appreciate it every time you guys use those links. You can also find all of our affiliate partners when you go over to rcairmarshall.com. Uh, all the links that you'll see there on the home page are affiliate links, and anytime you use those, they pay a small commission back to the channel, and we appreciate that. As always, if you have any questions, be sure to leave those down in the comments. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell so you're always notified when we have new videos come out on the channel. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next one.